Happy Mother's Day. As a mom, I know this is a day of celebration, but as someone who is also currently struggling with a journey of infertility and miscarriage, I know this day can be challenging as well. All the social media posts and celebrations around Mother's Day can be a painful reminder of what I don't have or what I've lost. In these moments, it's easy to feel disconnected to God because this season, it is hard. There is sadness and grief and there are so many questions. It's easy to wonder if God cares, if he, is He even listening? And if this is your story, I want you to know today that your God does care, that you are not alone. He is right here in the middle of this with you. And the Bible reveals to us in the book of Psalms that we can come to God just as we are. We can bring all of us, our questions, our pain, our messiness directly to Him. And here's what I found in my story. When you dare to trust God with your unfiltered, uncensored suffering, you discover the depth of His love and somehow it becomes enough. We have a family in our church who's walked through that same journey of miscarriage and they've generously donated a tree of remembrance. But this tree is not just for our church family. It is for anyone who has walked through this journey of infertility, miscarriage, and infant loss. So during the month of May, if you live in the North Texas area and if this is your story, I invite you to come. Tie a ribbon of remembrance on this tree. Sit, spend some private, uncensored time with God. I hope that this will be a gift to you, a space to remember, and a space to find hope. And as you remember your loss, I pray that you would feel God's comfort. I pray that you would know just how much He cares and that He is right there with you. He has not gone anywhere. If you'd like to hear more about finding hope in the middle of miscarriage and fertility and infant loss, I'd invite you to check out my message. Tie a ribbon and make space to remember that you are loved, you are seen, and you are not alone.